All right then, so we have created our first database and a table called pizzas inside that database. Now I'd like to show you how to connect to a database from PHP. Now to do that, we're gonna to need to connect with a username and a password. Now we can use the default root username and you can set the password in the user account section right here. But if you do this, then you'll need to update the config.inc file in the PHP My Admin directory. Or we could just create a new user for this database and connect using that. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna to go to user accounts and I'm gonna create a new user account by clicking this down here, add user account. Now the username is just gonna be Sean. So I'll use that. And the host name is gonna be localhost. The password, oops, spell that correctly. The password, I'm just gonna use test1234. I know it's very weak, but we're just doing a tutorial. Uh, test1234 again for the password. And then we're just gonna go down here and check all to allow global privileges. This is gonna allow it to basically do anything with the database, write to it, read from it, etc. So I'm gonna come down here and press go, and that is gonna create this new user for me. Okay, so we have this user account now. And if we click over here, we can see Sean right there has all privileges. So we're gonna connect with that user account. All right then, so back to the code. I'm in index.php and this is where we're gonna initially connect to the database because eventually what I want to do on the index page is retrieve all the records from that table, the pizzas table, and show them on this page, okay? So we're gonna connect at the top right here. Now, to communicate with our database, we have a couple of different options. We can use either MySQL I, and I stands for improved, or we can use PDO, which stands for PHP Data Objects. Now, MySQL I allows us to code in a more procedural manner. And since we haven't covered objects yet, I think MySQL I is the way to go to introduce you to what we need to do. But as you become a more experienced PHP developer, you should definitely, definitely learn the PDO approach, which uses objects. I just think for now to introduce you, then the MySQL I approach will be easier for us, okay? So let's use this method to connect to the database. So let's do a little comment. We'll delete this and we'll say connect to database. So I'm gonna store the connection reference in a variable and I'm gonna call this con for connection, all right? And we're gonna set this equal to the actual connection. Now the way we connect is by saying my SQL I, that's the kind of method we're using to interact with the database, underscore connect. And this is a function and it takes four parameters. The first parameter is the host, which is local host. And then the second parameter is the username, which is Sean. That's the user we just created. The password for that was test1234. And then the actual database that we want to connect to was called Ninja Pizza. I believe, I've forgotten already, but yeah, no, it's called Ninja Pizza. Okay, so let's put that as the fourth parameter, Ninja underscore pizza, okay? So there we go. That there is gonna go out and connect to our database not a specific table, the whole Ninja Pizza database, okay? And we're storing that reference to the connection in this variable. Now, the next thing we want to do is to check the connection to make sure it's actually worked. So I'm gonna do a little if statement right here, and I'm gonna place the con variable inside here and open up the code block. Now, this right here, if the connection is successful, this is gonna evaluate as true. And so therefore, this would execute. However, I want this only to execute if there's no connection. So I want to reverse that using the negation operator. This time, if the connection is false, if there's an error, then the negation operator will turn that into true and therefore this will fire inside here the code. And this is where we can echo some kind of error. So we'll echo a string, first of all, connection error. And then I'm gonna concatenate that, so a dot after this, and we're gonna use a function to get the error if there is one. So MySQL I, and then underscore connect, underscore error, like so. So if there's an error with the connection, this is gonna echo this stuff out, and it's gonna echo this result from this function. And that is gonna be the specific error there is. So if I save this now, I'm gonna run the index file. So just go to forward slash tuts at the top and we'll get the index file. Now there's nothing echoed to the screen, which is good news because that means there's no error. But 
if I now change this to Ninja Pizzas, so this is the wrong database name, if I refresh now, we see we get this error at the top and it says unknown database Ninja Pizzas. So that's good. If we make a mistake in the connection or for whatever reason it can't connect to the database, it's going to let us know right here and we can debug that. Okay. So for now, let's change this back to Ninja Pizza, refresh just to make sure this has worked and voila. So there we go, my friends. We have now successfully connected to the database and going forward now, I'm going to show you how we can retrieve data from it and show it on the page. But also when we go to the add.php page, I'm going to show you how we can save data to the database as well. To begin with, we'll show it on the index right over here. So we'll see that in the next video.